Hi everyone, welcome to our Big Three Family Night. Uh, this is video one of two. I'm so sorry that you couldn't make it to our six o'clock Zoom meeting. Uh, this is basically the same thing that we did, but just a little bit less interactive. Uh, so tonight we're going to be talking about uh, our Big Three goals in math and language arts for fourth grade. So we're gonna start with language arts. Language arts consists of four different areas. Uh, the common two we think of are reading and writing, but speaking and listening are also important skills and standards that we work on uh, throughout the year. Uh, this fourth grade class is really, really good at speaking and listening. Uh, they really listen to each other and then they uh, use agree and disagree statements when discussing in class. Uh, better than any other group I've had, so I'm really proud of them for that. Our first language art skill uh, that we'd like to accomplish by the end of the year is I can read on a fourth grade level. Uh, I can read a fourth grade level text smoothly and accurately without skipping words or leaving off ending sounds. Our second skill is I can discuss what I read by asking and answering questions using examples and information from the text. We've been work working really, really hard since week one this year of citing text evidence. So going back to the text and supporting our answers or in our ideas uh, with evidence from the text or examples or language from the text. Skill three, I can produce my own original opinion, informative and narrative writing that makes sense to the reader. So term one, we started with narrative. They wrote uh, personal narratives, which are stories about themselves. And that was a wonderful project. Uh, this uh, term we're working on informative and we're currently writing about camels and we've got a term project that we're working on to help us fulfill that goal. Here are some ways that we recommend you support language arts at home. Uh, first and foremost, and I can't stress this one enough, encourage your child to read at home every day. This is silently and out loud and talk to your child about what they just read. Uh, so when reading silently and out loud, uh, I recommend 20 minutes total every night, recommended five minutes at least out loud, and then the rest of the 15 in their heads uh, or silently. Um, if they feel more comfortable reading out loud, reading out loud is great. Uh, they don't necessarily have to read out loud to anyone. They can just read out loud to an empty room uh, or they can read to a family member or sibling. Number two, discuss what your child is learning at school. Ask specific questions. Uh, so some examples are uh, discussing what did you learn at school today? Uh, what did you learn in math? What was the most interesting thing you learned today? What new science concept were you learning? What did you read about in class? Uh, did you enjoy the text that you read? And number three, encourage your child to write at home and then read and discuss writing that they bring home from school. Okay, moving on to math. I have a quote I'd like to read you. Good mathematics is not about how many answers you know, it's about how you behave when you don't know. Uh, so I can't stress this enough for parents and students. Um, I know there are lots of parents out there that get super frustrated with our math curriculum from time to time because it's a little bit different from when we learned it. Uh, but I cannot stress enough how important it is for you to have a positive attitude uh, with your student uh, because they see that and they also react similar similarly. Uh, so keeping a positive attitude, I, you know, I don't understand this right now, but I'm going to learn how, or I don't know this yet. Um, and always asking the teacher questions if you're not sure what's going on. Uh, so let's keep that positive math environment, because um, I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard parents say, oh, well, I was no good at math in school, so uh, they may or may not be good at math. Well, uh, the more positive we are about math, the uh, uh, better results we're going to get. So our first skill is I can read and write and read, write, and explain the relationships of whole numbers through one million. Uh, so that's being able to look at a number and read it uh, and the place values through one million. Skill two, I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide multi-digit numbers and add, subtract, and multiply fractions. So, um, 
we have already covered adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing multi-digit numbers. Uh, not all of us are proficient at that yet, and we'll continue working on that daily, uh, but that is an area I need a lot more support from parents in. Uh, having your student practice their math facts at home uh, supports uh, multiplication and division of multi-digit numbers, um, and then just uh, having your student complete their math practice every day. Uh, we just started fractions this week, so that's our new unit, so that's what we'll be working on uh, coming forward for the next term. Math skill three, I can solve real world problems using all four math operations, that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So here are some ways you can support playing uh, support math at home. Uh, first and foremost, playing math fact practice games with your child. Uh, I will be teaching you uh, some games that you can play with them today. Uh, that will be in part two, the second video. Uh, number two, talk with your child about what they did in math that day. Uh, what new words did you, math words did you learn that day? Was it easy or was it difficult for you, uh, etc. And then number three, which is I think one of the most important ones, uh, use resources to engage with your child in mathematical problem solving. Uh, for example, cooking, baking, building, and gaming. We as adults engage in mathematical thinking all of the time without even realizing it. So giving our students an opportunity and our children the opportunity to join in on that uh, and be like, hey, here's a problem I have. Here are the numbers involved. How are we going to solve this together? Uh, is a great opportunity um, for them to develop that uh, problem solving skill. Uh, also, one not listed on here is grocery shopping. Uh, grocery shopping, as difficult with kids as it can be, um, my two-year-old is very difficult to take shopping, but it's really great to talk to them about uh, numbers and money and budgeting and totals. There's a lot of vocabulary that you use all the time when you grocery shop uh, that students need to know to be successful at problem solving. So, uh, that is it for our big three. If you have any questions about our goals, uh, our goal is to ha have mastered all three of these goals in math and language arts before the end of the year. Um, so feel free to message me uh, if you're any unsure about any of the goals or if you would like more ideas on how to support your student in math and language arts at home. Uh, please stay tuned to part two, which is where I'm going to teach you how to play um, a math fact fluency game for multiplication.